The objective of this operation is to demonstrate tactically the infantry and armor's current organic low-yield nuclear delivery system, the Davy Crockett. The tactical situation has been pre-designed to illustrate the employment of Davy Crockett in support of an attack. The plan of the exercise calls for the Davy Crockett to be fired in the zone of action of the 1st Mechanized Battalion, 12th Infantry. Our forces are disposed as indicated here. Company A with an attached platoon of tanks. Company B simulated. Company C, also simulated, is in reserve. Other elements actually participating are the mortars, the recoilless rifles, the light Davy Crockett launcher, maximum range 2,000 meters, the two heavy Davy Crockett launchers, maximum range 4,000 meters, the supporting artillery battery, and the battalion headquarters. The enemy in this sector of the combat zone has been driven back to these positions. He also holds strong reserves here. The battalion has been ordered to secure objectives one and two. Company A will attack to seize objective one. Company B will attack to seize objective two. To assist in breaching the enemy's defenses, one Davy Crockett nuclear round will be detonated here, 26 minutes prior to the attack. The significance of this operation was recognized throughout our military establishment. Key representatives from all the services and other interested agencies were invited to observe this historic event, a critical first for the Army. The president was represented by close personal advisors. Prior to the exercise, the observers were oriented on the salient characteristics of the Davy Crockett system and on the overall scheme of maneuver they would witness. The countdown for the firing of the nuclear round was under control of the Defense Atomic Support Agency. Safety measures for the exercise were supervised by the chief safety officer. At H minus five minutes, all troops were ordered to take cover in previously prepared trenches. At H minus three minutes, all observers put on high density goggles or turned their backs to the direction of the burst to avoid retinal burns. At H minus two minutes, green star clusters were fired as the final warning before the detonation. The round was launched at H minus 17 seconds to accomplish H hour impact on the desired ground zero at a range of 2,852 meters. The round was set for a low height of burst. It detonated perfectly, releasing its lethal radiation. Like any other nuclear weapon, the Davy Crockett gives off three basic effects. Heat, blast, and nuclear radiation. By far the most significant effect is its deadly initial nuclear radiation. 